Well, hello and welcome to another 12 Weeks of Christmas 2022. My name is Barb Ryder. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here to share more Christmas ideas. Um, this stamp set I'm going to share, I've done some videos on my Facebook Live and um, shared several things with this mistletoe magic. I think this was much overlooked in the Stampin' Up! catalog, the holiday catalog, the July to December 2022. Um, it's in this catalog right here, and uh, it is still available, uh, um, and it is on page 15. You can see some samples done with it. Now, here's the great thing. Right now, um, the, it, today is December 6, 2022. This is still available in my online store, and the dies are on sale for $15.50. This is actually $10 off the bundle price of $47.50. But don't, don't get the bundle price. Don't do that if you want to order this. Order your stamp set by itself and your dies by themselves because it is $15.50. They're marked down to $15.50. So just wanted to share that with you if you like this. Um, this is a beautiful set. And then I'm also going to be using the designer paper, Painted Christmas. It is on page 29, and it is on sale for $4.80 from $12. So this card is gorgeous. I'm going to show you how, now I'm using the stamp set and the dies from Mistletoe Magic. I'm also using another die set which is a standalone die set these are all the dies so you have one two three four five six seven eight and nine dies in this set uh, we're going to be using this large piece right here um, but it is called designer tags dies it is in the um, stampin up annual catalog um, and then that catalog is good through april 2023 all right, so what are we using? I am using a, several of the dies that are in the um, that are in the die set that you can purchase just by themselves. If you just if you have lots of sentiments, you would just need these dies. But you have some gorgeous things. I actually used these two pieces here. I used this little stem right here. Those are the pieces I used for the card that we're going to create mistletoe dies all right and we're going to be using christmas blessings uh, from this stamp set not the to you and yours we're going to be using the marker technique and i'm going to I store my dies right in with my stamp set so i'm going to put that here and put that over out of the way and we're going to be using uh evening evergreen this, uh, cardstock and bring this out this is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter or folded in half I have a scrap white that we're going to be using um, the double oval punch we're going to be using this punch um, to uh, create our sentiment here is the die cut piece and I use the brush gold for this but this is the die cut piece I've already done um, I've got some brush gold little, um, you can, well, that's brown. I wasn't sure. I think I, I, I wasn't sure about using these, but anyway, these are in soft suede. Okay. Then here's all my little greenery. Then I have some other little berries in that I've used the die cuts and, uh, out of the brush gold. Um, okay. So I'm going to just pop these up here out of the way. Uh, and then I have. Um, a piece of basic white for the inside, which is, I believe, four, it's four by five and a quarter. That's for the inside. I have a designer piece of the paper um, that I um, just shared with you. This is one side, kind of a fun red variation in color. And then this one, it just looks so um, vintage to me. And so I just thought it was gorgeous to go with the um, die cuts that I have um, from the Mistletoe Magic. And this piece is four by five and a quarter. 
Then I have early espresso, which coordinates with this color right here, four and one eighth by five and three eighths. So what that does is it gives me just a little sliver around the outside to really enhance or accentuate, I guess, the espresso that is in the designer paper. So I'm gonna use my double stick tape, which is my stamp and seal, and just um, put some adhesive on my um, designer paper. And then I'm going to place that onto my early espresso. Now again, it's only an eighth of an inch bigger, so you, when I go to put this down, I need to just make sure I just have a sliver on all edges like that. And I think I'm crooked. So there's a little forgiveness here if you don't push it down all the way. But once you get it down, it likes to stick pretty good. So just be aware of that. Okay, so there we are. We have that um, uh, layer put together. And then this layer, I'm going to just go ahead and put it down onto the front of my card. And again, just put an adhesive. This is going to go on top of the Evening Evergreen so that there's just a little hint of green all around the edges. Let me see if I can bring that up. So, so can you see the, the variation in the colors? I think it, to me, it's harder to see on video, but in person, you can see that little bit of dark really helps. Um, it just brings that out in the design of the paper here. All right, now this is gonna go on the inside. Let's just do that right now. And the only ink that I'm using for this card, because the dyes and the paper are really the stars of the show here uh, with this card, that's just for the insides to write your sentiment, stamp your sentiment, whatever works for you. So this is gonna be a horizontal card like this. And we're gonna do some building. And I'm gonna be using, let me grab my um, mini glue dots here. These are a great little tool to have when you're working with little pieces. What I'm gonna do is this is going to go right into the middle of uh, the card okay so let's just go ahead i'm going to go ahead and put this down flat now you notice i've got my silicone mat here and that is so that um i if i get adhesive um on my table it's going to be on my mat not my table so i don't have sticky all over and there you go you've got adhesive all on the back of there Let's put this, this is going to go kind of right in the middle of my card here. So let's get that in place, just like that. If I can get my fingers out of it, it's sticky. There we go. All right. See that pretty shimmer that's on there? It just makes it look so pretty. Okay. Now we're going to build our little um, piece here after we stamp our sentiment. So what are we gonna do? We are going to, first of all, we need to punch out, I want the larger piece. I'm not gonna use the small. I'm gonna use the larger and I'm just gonna come in here and get my paper and just punch that right out. That's what I want. Okay, now on this one, we're also gonna be using um, some post-it notes. Uh, I have my cleaner here, but we're just gonna be safe with the post-it notes, okay? So let's lay that here. And what I'm gonna do is take the brush tip end of my um, stamp and write markers. So this is not our alcohol markers. You don't wanna use alcohol markers on your um, stamps. You just, you wanna use your regular stamp and write markers. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna do the word blessings first. So I am just going to see if I can get this so you can see. I'm taking the side of my marker. Let me come up closer here to the to the, um, the camera. Uh, I am just going to um, put the ink on the word blessing. And I'm taking the side of my uh, brush tip and marker. Okay, and see how you can see the color? You can see that it's wet. That's what we want. All right, let's do this. 
Now for the this part, I don't need the, mar the post it, okay? So once you've done that, one of the tricks, you can see how it's um, dried a little bit in some of the spots. So what you do is you just take your hot breath and you just huff on it. You go, <sighs> that's the word blessings. So I want blessings to be kind of right there. And there's my words, words, blessings. Okay. Sorry, there we go. I was holding a little odd in the light. Okay, I'm going to clean this stamp. And the reason I want to use the, um, I'm going to use my stamp and chamois here. I've just got it in one of our clear stamp cases. Um, this is just wet with water, and then it just cleans my stamp. Um, so I'm going to go back. Now I'm going to do the word Christmas, all right? Um, and I guess we could take this and see. I'm going to huff on this again. The, uh, all I'm doing now is just checking to see if the word blessings has any shadows if it's not clean enough. Okay. It looks like there's nothing there, so I won't have to use this. If I felt that I wasn't going to get it completely clean or it had a residue, you would want to mask off the word blessings. If you are using an, a stamp pad and you inked it up that way, you might have a little bit of red there. So, but for this technique, using the markers, you should be able to um, just use your marker. I'm focusing here, and when, <laughs> when I'm focusing, I stop talking. Um, you want to, uh, using your marker, you should be able to just do it one at a time. All right, there I'm inked up the word Christmas. <sighs> Huff on that. And Christmas is going to just kind of go right there. And now I have, instead of one long Christmas blessing, so see that? I've used my stamp, and now I have it um, as a top and bottom stamp, or sentiment, I guess. Okay, so Christmas blessings, that's what I want. And I'm going to clean that off. Sorry for the shaky there. And the reason I wanted to stamp this and have this done is now we're going to build... Um, build this is going to go right in the center okay and we are going to build our card build our um, oh what do you want to say um, I don't know what I want to say <laughs> um, our, all of our pieces I guess our, our um, kind of uh, greenery and and Christmas looking stuff <laughs> All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead. I wonder, um, let's see. I'm going to open this up so we have white. Can you see it on there? I'm going to use the white so we can see. Um, I'm going to just kind of build it from here. I didn't think about how this would not show up as well as I would like it to. Um, all right, let me try a different way. Not liking that. Um, all right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead, since this is going to get popped up, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put some adhesive on the back here, okay, on the edges. And then I'm going to just kind of put these down and just kind of hold them there with that um, adhesive that's on the back. Now, remember I said I used two different... Um, dies and that's because some of them are longer pieces and some are shorter pieces of that greenery so let me just pull all those in here so I can see what I have I've got more longs than shorts just a couple shorts I think that's because I chose to do all more longs because I can make pull them in and out to make them tall longer and shorter if that makes any sense <laughs> Okay, so let's get these little guys. Um, here's another gold one over here. And then here I have the soft suede. So I don't know that I'll use them all, but like I said, we're just going to kind of build this out. And without sticking this down, see, I want to have it on both sides. So I want to come up this way. Let's go ahead with another um, uh, green one right here. 
and let's make that a little shorter. See there, you can pull it so that you can make it shorter, taller, longer and shorter, I guess. Um, and let's see, um, let's come over on this side, see if I can kind of bring it this way. And let's get another one. <clears throat> And how about, let's come up like that. I'm, I'm not hitting sticky back there. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here's what we've got so far. It looks a little funky right now, but remember, we're going to be putting that on here. And let's see here. That'll go like that. Okay, so I, when I, I don't want it this, I, I'm not finalizing this. This is just kind of a... I want to make sure that I like where I have these and that was up just a little bit too high on that side. So, okay, I'm liking that better. Okay, that's better. So this is the tedious part. If you're not fussy, then you can put it however you would like. Now the next thing, I've got these gold pieces, these gold um, fun things here. I'm gonna stick one in the back. Let's see, and this is where I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get a mini glue dot for right here and basically get this little glue dot here. I'm going to put it on the front because I want my gold to show and by having it on the front then I can stick, just stick this right here, okay, that way. Because if I put it on the back, it's not going to stick to my oval and that's my whole, that's the whole reason that I wanted to try to do that. Now this one is the brown, just trying to think, maybe um, I can, let's go ahead and again, this is a great, great tool. If you don't have the silicone sheet, you really should. I could just go right on there and not have it um, get all over everything. So I'm going to take this little greenery, uh, or my, um, the soft suede. And then these little guys right here, I'm just going to come right on top and just add some more green in there, okay? Can you see what I got going on? Just like that. I think we're going to put a gem in here too so that will kind of uh, hide this, the crisscross of the sticks maybe. I don't know. Okay, let's do this. We're going to put some adhesive again on this bottom part, just on the bottom there. Now, if you don't like fussy stuff, this might not be your thing, but some of us really like details in our cards. All right, so that's what I got going on, all right? And I think I need, I want one more gold up here in this mix, and then we're going to put the other gold at the bottom, okay? So, let's see, can we kind of come up in here? Let's see, maybe we could do that. All right, so let's put this, see I'm going um, on the front again of this right here because I'm going to bring this up taller and I'm going to just stick it on the greenery there. Okay? All right, hope you're following me all right. Okay, so now we want to get a couple of these down in here. So let's, again, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to use the adhesive because that's working beautiful. And let's, um, let's bring that kind of right there. And let's see, do I want one of these on this one? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get some balance going on and get um, some of the soft suede um, on this other side. That's kind of coming off. These will, we're going to put dimensionals on here, so this will all stick very well um, once we have it complete. Okay? All right, and I think I need one more greenery uh, down on the bottom. So let's see, maybe I should do, I, I'm going to put a gem there and a gem here. So I don't think I'm going to, um, I don't know. Should I put one on the top here? Let's see. All right, let's see, let's see. I'm getting stuck. And sorry if this is like sideways and every which way, it's just trying to figure this out. Mm, not liking that. 
How about a longer one maybe? Maybe we should come down a little bit longer there. Maybe there, maybe in the middle. There we go. Let's try that. Oh, I don't have anything on there. Hello. All right, let's put some adhesive on that very tip. And let's bring that and bring that length down just like that. All right, so that looks like kind of a hot mess, right? Well, once we get it all finished, it's gonna be amazing. So we'll save these. We could probably put these on the inside of our card. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get some dimensionals and we have our large dimensionals and we have um, smaller mini dimensionals. I'm gonna use the big ones and what I'm doing is just kind of holding, putting it right on top of these, um, all the pieces that I've done here. I'm gonna take a mini See, they're a lot, lot smaller, but I'm gonna take a mini one and I'm gonna put that right over there where I have this little extra long going on. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna grab a couple more minis and just so that this balances out and we don't have any sunken sides, <laughs> um, I've got dimensionals all over there. Okay, so let's just take the backs off now and we're gonna put this right in the middle of our beautiful gold frame and as you are watching this I hope you'll go back and watch some of the others if you haven't already and then also make sure that you um, subscribe to my channel and click the bell so that you will get um, notifications when I do videos here on my channel all right so this is going to just kind of go just like this we want our Christmas blessings to be straight so there we go. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. See that? All right. Now let's get those gems. And I have a whole little container here. Now we've got red. So I think I am going to probably add some red in here. Um, we also have some gold, brush gold, that I could pop some gold. But... I think we're just going to stick with the red. I'm just going through my whole big case or container that I have all of my gems to take a look. Another one that we have are the um, red and green adhesive. Well, actually, they're the festive pearls is what they're called, and those are going to be carrying over. So those are gold, and there's red in those. Hmm. I don't know. Do I want... I'm looking at this, and I feel like this is crooked. Okay, <laughs> um, hmm, think to go with the, I, I don't know, I just like the, I like these guys, so we're going to go with that. We are going to go with the red and um, pull these little guys out, and let's see where we want to add some of those. I am going to use my um, Take Your Pick tool, which is like $10, and it's like one of the best tools to have in your toolkit. I use this all, all, all the time. Okay, we're gonna go with a gem there. And let's go with another um, gem kind of right there. Whoops, came off on my finger. Well, my putty came off on there. That's what happened. Okay, let's grab this little guy up again, hopefully. There we go. And we're gonna put that one right there. And let's take one more and just do ourselves a little trio of pretty little red gems there. See that? Okay. And, hmm, let's see. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure if I want to put any, um, maybe just, maybe we'll just go with one over here to kind of balance that. Balance that out. And should we put some around, all around? I'm trying to decide. I think I kind of like it like that. So that is going to be the front of our card. And you've got the red gems there. And then the um, brushed gold that is um, um, part of our coordination with the brushed gold there. And the soft suede, which matches with the uh, pine cones. All of those goodies. Um, I am just thinking, let's see, maybe we should 
do another little, no, that's too much. It looks like it's got wings or something. Uh, all right, so there we are. Now, let's say maybe you have a guy, even if you have, this would be a great birthday card, and just uh, change out your sentiment to say happy birthday if it's winter. Uh, and then definitely I would use the, the matted pearls here instead of the red glitzy um, sparkle that this gives. <laughs> Um, but on the inside, remember we've got these guys left, so let's see if we can't add these in here. If I can um, pick them up with my fingers. Okay, so what other stamps do we have in here? Uh, Christmas blessings. May your heart be filled with joy of the season. Let's grab that out um, here. May your heart, this long one. Let's go ahead and stamp that on the inside just like that and yes I can still use the same red I'm just going to do the whole thing the whole um, phrase couldn't think of the word okay so there's that and then when I use my marker I always like to um, just huff on the ink to make sure it's uh, all moistened and let's stamp that kind of right there in the middle. May your heart be filled with joy um, this season. Okay, and put that over here. And then let's put uh, a couple of these guys. So I'm just gonna take my adhesive and put a little bit on here. And let's go like that. Here is a long one, so let's get some adhesive on there. And I love this. This little mat is only $6, and it's in the annual catalog. And I believe it is something that you need in your toolkit. So let's um, bring this maybe right here. Okay. And do we want to bring some of the brown in with the berries? I think so. So let's just add that right there. Whoops, a little more. I need a little more on that guy to hold it down. All right, so let's just bring that right here. And I didn't put any on, um, I'll bring this up. I didn't put any on the tip just so that it's not flat, flat. You can see that there is a little bit of, um, see there? You can see there's a little bit of uh, dimension. So, so there's that. Now, you can... I think I'm going to. I'm going to go ahead and pull in a couple more of my red rhinestones. Since they are really small, I just think they might be kind of nice. Just to pull in kind of the same thing as we have on the front. Okay? Just like that. All right. So let's take a look up close if I can get my gems put back in there. Um, at what we have. We have this gorgeous um, vintage kind of looking uh, card using um, a mixture of mistletoe magic and the, um, oh, what's the name again? Their designer tag dies. All right. And then when you open your card, look at the beautiful inside. You have your sentiment and then you have a coordination of the front with the inside. Now, I did not bring my envelope up over here, but with the mistletoe magic, you could easily um, stamp one of these pieces on your envelope to give uh, a look of, um, stamp this in green maybe and color in with the red. You could do it that way or just with the green. Anyway, there you are. You have one more um, Christmas project. We still have time. Uh, even though you might not mail all of your cards, you might hand deliver some of them. And so you still have time to create those cards and get those out to your friends. Now, if you're looking at this in a long time after um, December of 2022, um, then I hope that you'll be inspired to use what stamp sets you might have and create the same uh, type of card for your friends. All right, thanks again for joining me, and I hope that you'll join me on Facebook Live, Stamp with Barb Ryder, 7 p.m. 
every Thursday, uh, great tips and techniques. See you then. Bye-bye.